Welcome back to the Custom NPCs tutorial series. In this episode, we will be going over the Stats tab. At Health, we can change the maximum health an NPC has. This is in units of half hearts. Aggro Range is the radius around the NPC in which they will detect enemies. For example, if we set the aggro range to be 16, because this NPC is outside the radius of 16 blocks, this NPC does not see him. But if we move him to be within the radius, the NPC does see him. We can change the type of creature the NPC is considered to be over here. We can make it normal, undead, or an arthropod. This does not change the behavior of the NPC, this is for things like enchantments or potions, such as how health potions will damage undead entities, and the enchantment bane of arthropods deals more damage to arthropods. Over here we can change the respawn settings. When set to yes, the NPC will respawn if they die. This number next to time is how many seconds it takes for the NPC to respawn. When this is set to day, the NPC will only respawn when it is daytime. This is still affected by the time we set here. Let's set the respawn time to 40 seconds. If the NPC dies, if after those 40 seconds it is daytime, the NPC will respawn. However, if after those 40 seconds it is nighttime, the NPC will wait until it is daytime to respawn. Setting it to night is the same thing but reversed. Setting it to no will delete the NPC when they die. Setting it to naturally will make the NPC despawn over time like other mobs. When high dead body is set to no, the NPC's body will still be visible after they die. When it is set to yes, the NPC body will be invisible but they will still be there. Here we can change settings for the NPC's melee attack. At melee strength, we can change how much damage the NPC does when they swing. This is in units of half hearts. Melee range is how many blocks the NPC can reach in front of them with their swing. The bigger the number, the farther they hit. Speed is the amount of ticks between each swing, so a bigger number will mean more time between each swing. Here you can change how far an entity is knocked back when hit by this NPC's melee attack. Here you can select an effect to be applied to the target when hit. The time is how long the effect will last in seconds, and Amplified will let you choose the potency of the effect. Over here we can change settings for the ranged attack. Accuracy is how accurate their shot is. Range is how far their projectile will reach. If the enemy is within their aggro range, but farther than the distance they can throw, they will walk until they are within distance. Min and max delay are the amount of redstone ticks between each attack. One redstone tick is equal to one tenth of a second. After a shot, it will choose a random number between these two values. The min and max delay decides when the NPC attacks, but burst count lets you decide how many shots are in an attack. For example, if the burst count is 4, they will fire 4 times every attack. Burst rate is the amount of Minecraft ticks between each burst shot. One Minecraft tick is 1 20th of a second. So if we set the min and max delay to both be 40, the burst count to be 3, and the burst rate to be 20, Every 40 redstone ticks, the NPC will fire 3 shots with 20 Minecraft ticks between each of those shots, which equates to every 4 seconds, the NPC will fire 3 shots with 1 second in between each of those shots. Shot count is how many projectiles are fired per shot. 
If we set this to 5, each time the NPC fires a shot, 5 projectiles will come out at the exact same time. At melee range, if the NPC's target is this many blocks away from them, they will abandon shooting and start attacking with melee. Fire sound is the sound that is played when a projectile is shot. Hit sound is the sound that is played when a projectile hits a target. And ground sound is the sound played when a projectile hits a block. When selecting a sound, on the left here you have categories for the sounds, and on the right here you have the list of all sounds within that category. You can click play to preview the sound, and to select the sound you double click it. When aim while shooting is off, the NPC will just swing their arms whenever they fire. When on, they will aim their arms as if they were holding a bow whenever they are attacking. Shoot and direct will make the NPC fire the projectile way up in the air in an attempt to hit their target. You can toggle if they do this when their target is distant, they consider distant to be around 20 blocks away from them, or when hidden, which is when their direct line of sight is broken. Side note, for this to work you must toggle must see target to know in the AI tab. Projectile type is where we customize the projectile fired by the NPC. Power is how much damage a projectile does when it hits. This is in units of half hearts. Size is how big the projectile is. Speed is how fast it goes. Punch is like knockback but for projectiles. When set to 3D, the projectile is a 3D model. If it is 2D, the projectile is the item texture. When 3D is on, you get two extra options. Spins will make the projectile spin while flying. No spin makes it not spin while flying. When sticks is off, the projectiles are deleted when they hit a block and will make this block cracking particle effect. When on, they will stick to the blocks they hit like an arrow. When has gravity is set to yes, the projectile will have drop off. When it is set to no, you get to choose if the projectile goes at a constant speed or if it accelerates as it flies. Here you can choose if the projectile explodes when it hits something. You can make the explosion small, medium, or large. The explosion is affected by the mob griefing game rule. Here you can select an effect to be applied to the target if they are hit by this NPC's projectile. Time is how many seconds the effect will last, and Amplified will increase the potency of the effect. Trail type will make the particle selected here follow behind the projectile as it is flying. Glow will make the model or texture be brighter, regardless of the lighting around it. No glow will make it respect the lighting around it. In resistance, we have sliders that change how resistant the NPC is to certain types of damage. We can make them more or less resistant. For example, if we set the knockback slider to 100, the NPC will not move at all when hit. If we set it to negative 100, the NPC will be knockbacked much farther when hit. Immune to fire determines if the NPC is damaged by fire. Burns and Sun determines that the NPC is lit on fire when they are in sunlight. Potion Immune determines that the NPC is affected by potion effects. It does not seem to apply to instant health potions though. Can Drown determines if the NPC will drown when underwater for too long like other mobs. No Fall Damage determines that the NPC takes fall damage and Cobweb Affected determines if the NPC's movement is slowed down when they are inside of a cobweb. When the NPC is not in combat, health regen is how many half hearts they regenerate every second. You cannot change the intervals between each regen. Combat regen is the same as health regen but works when the NPC is inside of combat. 
And that is every feature of the stats tab. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, we will be going over the AI tab.